Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So last time we took our main lance out, um, did some work with them, and pulled off a mission. This time we're going to take out our secondary lance. Going to do a contract here, something I think they should have no problem doing. We're going to do the re -re uh, reconquest contract. It's basically just a destroy base, heavily armed pirate band. So I think we should have no problem with the second lance. So let's negotiate this sucker out. And I'm going to go 3 to 13. I want to start generating some more sea bills, so we're going to go this route. And we'll flush out our main lance while they rest up. And we'll bring in the secondary lance. Now we're going to lead off with the Hunchback. And actually, we're going to, yeah, Hunchback first. And then Bushwhacker. Let's go with Blackjack, I think. And Phoenix Hawk, probably. If it's a destroyed base mission, I think probably that's the best way to go. The Firestarter we'll leave out for now. I don't think we'll need that one. Um, so we got the AC-10 loadout on this guy. The Bushwhacker is the double PPC AC-5, Ultra-5 that is. We got the heavy medium lasers set up on the Blackjack and our Phoenix Hawk is still basically the same loadout. Uh, so let's get our main lance back up and running. Um, I was thinking about bringing Recoil in as the leader of this lance, but I don't think it's really, uh, would do the lance justice for that to happen. So we're gonna leave him in the, um, we'll put him in the third position for now. Um, not sure what's going to happen. I think I want to pull him out of this lance, put him back in the main lance again, but we'll figure out how that's going to happen. Actually, let's put him in with the Phoenix Hawk and Warlock in the Blackjack and deploy and get this sucker done. All right, here we go. Enemy contact right away. Oh, yeah, lovely. I hate this. Uh, I keep saying that. I hate this map. I hate this map, but they certainly make the uh, maps challenging, that's for sure. Um, at least some of them. This one can be challenging because we got uh, at least three turrets here that can lay suppressing fire down into the valley here. So you have to be careful what you're doing. But uh, what do we got? We got Raider up front, so let's move her in first. We do. We do have something. Gauntlet. Okay. Yeah, smart move. So way to do it, man. Ready for orders. Not a damn thing I could have done about that. Can we get here and shoot him? We can. Position confirmed. Try and get a little bit of height. Just walk it in so we can remove the instability. Target this guy and fire. Well, at least one of the PPCs hit. Commander. I'm going to get right in on this guy. Yeah, not a bad chance. They will fire everything. Fire now. Well, at least the flamer hit. 30 tenner coming in. 30 tenner with an AC. Commander, show me what you can do, buddy. You know why you're here. They know why you're here. Hey, let's see what this baby can do. Okay, we want to remove this gauntlet, so the best thing to do is... Oh, we don't even have enough for an offensive push yet. Crap. Firing a full yeah, I don't like this mech anymore. We got the Wolverine... Um, not the Wolverine R. What's the other one that we just got? Seven. Seven R, is it? The six R is going to be turned back into a melee mech. I think it's the seven R. All right, so we got the lots of, look at, I mean, our Lance is really good for evasion here, which is excellent. Um, we're going to push this guy a bit. Two light PPCs, two MML sevens. Um, he's got a CT hit already. Who's got the best chance to hit? 35. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter who it is. Yeah. 
Well, you're pretty good. Let's fire a maneuver. Uh, we do have offensive push, so we're going to do that. Going to try for a CT hit. Fire everything. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I think I just hit on something special. I think you did too. Let's just move into here. We don't want to go too far forward. Yep. Fifty-five tonner moving down the road. Nope. Taking a bit of a turn. Could be just about anything with a large laser. Okay, let's get the whacker up over here. On my way. Target this guy straight out. And we'll drop the AC. We'll fire both PP. Well, we'll save more heat doing it. Well, you know what? It's going to be a turn before we're in battle again anyway. So let's fire the two PPCs. See if we can get that CT. It's going down. Well, we didn't get a CT on him though. Interesting. Yes, Commander. Let's get you up here. Urban mech, right. Durr. Okay, targeting this guy, CT him. Nice. That's a kill. That is a kill. Yeah. What can I do you for? Yeah. I know that guy's an Irby. What's this guy? Double time. Let's go. Uh, looks like a Wolverine to me. 6M? Um, I'm going to push him back next turn. Just, just, well, let's just try for a head hit. I think we still have got Wolverine parts lying around. Ah, it didn't really matter. We want to push him back a turn so we can all go before him anyway. I find the the only Irbys that you're really worried about are, worry about are the ones with the Ultra 20s or the Ultra 10s. Most of them can't hit worth a shit. Something I can do. Yeah, there is something you can do. All right, so we're going to move down here. We got lots of evasion. Let's get right up in here. Bustin' ah, that's what I've been missing. I think he's saying bustin' out. Oh shit! That guy was hidden. Good thing those pirate Goss rifles have got negatives to hit. What do we got here? Hardened standard turret. Eh. Hardened sniper turret. Bombast laser, light AC5s, double PPCs. Uh, what's our chance to hit here? Pretty good. Even better. Jager mech. This guy doesn't have that much armor, does he? Well, 880 is not bad. These guys have a couple hundred. 840. Let's go for the better chance to hit, I think. So we're not wasting our time here. That large laser, I'm telling you. Maybe it's time to replace it with a large pulse laser or something. Ah, oh, God, what are we going to do here? Don't think I want to push these turrets. Well, we don't really have to. Can do this. Copy that, Commander. Let's get in the mineral field. Present them a target. Pretty good chance to hit on that guy. Eh. Eh. Let's start on the hardened sniper turret. We're not gonna multi-shot. Wow. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
You know, I pushed that Wolverine back for nothing. Alright, do we do Irby or do we do 27? 30, wow. Let's just go this route. We're going to get our heat back. We'll just plank plank them. Yeah. Right here. Mm -hmm. We're going to reserve Warlock. Well, let's just see what happens. Yeah, we are. Don't want to play that game, buddy. They slump past my armor. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's given himself an ability to be hit, so. Once again, we're going to push him back a turn. I guess so. Inaccuracy mech. It's deadly having those two, um... It's deadly having those two, uh, Gauss rifles on there, but most of the time the Jager mech can't land them. There's no bonus, uh, to hit in those arms. And those pirate uh, Gauss rifles are minus one to hit, so it makes it extre extremely hard for them to land it, especially against something with, <laughs> with this much evasion. It's like you're like, you know, a 3% chance to hit or 2% chance to hit or something. At least they're shooting at the right guy. Alright, so we're going before all these other guys are, so let's start off with... I'm listening, uh-huh. Oh, this is a hard choice. Do we want to pull these guys out? We can do that. Pull them out. Let's, I think we're going to do that. Don't like the idea of having to fight those um, turrets at the same time. Alright, let's fire these. Nice. Should be able to finish this guy up this turn. Dump everything into him. Okay, that guy's gone. One less target. Receiving you. You're going last, buddy. Sorry. Let's get up here. A little better chance to hit. A little better on this guy, so let's take it. Nice. Guard a critical hit. So that was mostly leg, right? Yeah. Waiting for order. Urgh. Gonna make it super hard for him to get behind me. So let's do it this way. Yeah, we'll fire on him. Go with these guys. Well, at least we hit with the large laser this time. Okay, he's unsteady. Let's see what he does. Changing targets. Yeah, this lance, I'm, I'm liking the loadout of this lance. 
the punch isn't quite there for me yet, especially with this uh, Phoenix Hawk. I think we definitely need to swap this out. But um, the evasion part of it is making them give like have really really hard chances to hit us, which I think that ah oh, crap. I you know why do I open my mouth? <laughs> I don't, as soon as I say it gives them a hard chance to hit us, they sensor lock me. Really? <laughs> Man, I gotta stop opening my mouth. Alright. Sure. Alright, we got some flanking happening now. Right here. Mm -hmm. Let's get into boat here, I think. And I don't think we can get any... Well, we, uh, we do have a chance to get this guy in the back. So I am going to push this guy a bit. And we're going to go with the three medium heavies, I think, and fire. Nice. Pushing him back a turn. I'm guessing you didn't like that, did you? No, I probably did not. Since you hit both of them in the CT. Nice. All right, recoil. Good to go. Bust the now. Yeesh. That's not a very good place to be. That's even worse. Dude. My God, one or the other, really, eh? There we go. I put the pedal down little better still got some pretty good uh, pretty good movement on this guy so let's go with that's uh, more accurate let's go with the accuracy well at least we got a knockdown and an explosion that works too I don't know if that guy can see us. Probably can't. And we're going to go this way. Oh, we got one of them hit. I'm receiving you. you can come back this way now. You want to shoot on that guy from the front. How do we do? We got a good leg hit here. Can we follow up on that? Um... Leg hit, maybe? Let's give it a shot. Ah. We wouldn't have knocked him down anyway if we just shot straight out. we just become unstable. And then he'll move, so it wouldn't have worked. But I was hoping we could have taken that leg to prevent that from happening. Okay, so that's the next target. Is that turret? Barely hit, Don't say things like that, man. It always ends up bad. It always ends up bad. All right. Um, I'm listening. Can we see one turret and not the other? This helps a little bit. Got 267% chance, 95% chance. Let's go this way. Here we go. Okay, good start. Hogweed, see if we can finish that up, please. Yeah, it's pretty good. Copy that. Can we fire everything? Yep. Wow, only half hit. Order. You got it. Okay, targeting this guy. I think we go with the three mediums. Fire on our 
That was 70 damage. That was enough. Okay, good. Got him. Nice. I'm here. And at range. Don't need to do too much, but we're going to target this uh, PPC turret. Just get a start on it, I think. Or we can shoot the guys that are sniping at us from the hill up there. We could do that, too. That's probably a good idea. Wow. Oh, we got lucky with that. <laughs> That's the other thing about those Gauss rifles with the variable damage. You're just rolling the dice every time you fire them. You never know if you're going to do anything significant. That's why I don't like using them. The accuracy hit off them and the just variability is like, what are we doing today, friends? I don't know. Let's just try and see if we can hit them for anything. All right, let's move into here. Yeah, right on this guy. So dump everything into his side. Man, that AC. Oh my god, you missed with almost everything. Waiting for orders. Hogweed's really our only reliability here. Yeah, let's not get too overconfident here. Alright, uh, gonna go this route. Okay, two hits. Where do we get them? Both legs are damaged. Nice. Uh, recoil next. Um, do we want to sprint? We can't get off of here without sprinting. Let's get right down in here. Now, the question is, do we think they can hit us? Probably not. Um, let's go with the three mediums, just fire them. Okay, he's unstable. Commander. Commander. Here, I guess. Confirmed. You probably chance to be hit. It's vigilance you, just in case. And we'll target... Can we go three heavies? No. Uh, vehicle flamer doesn't cost anything to use, so let's use that and fire. Oh, nice leg hit. Two leg hits. There it goes. Now, we do have six Jager mech parts. So we're going to try and leg this guy. And maybe we take two Jagermeck parts as our spoils. You're not going anywhere, dude. Yeah, you can't point blank hit from there. Uh huh. Mm hmm. All right, girl. Yeah. See if we can take this leg. Sweep the leg. Only going to be able to do it from here. So let's make that attempt. Not a good place to be, but it's the only place we can be at the moment. And really great chance to hit. So let's take that and go after the leg. Um, can we use this now? No. Nope. Not yet. Just fire these guys. Here you go. Oh, there it is, folks. Okay. Standing by. Now we need to kill these turrets. I think the PPC turret is the most important one. This guy. Hmm. Let's go this route. Chance for more damage. Nice shooting. That's down to... Okay. Commander. Let's just walk it up, recoil. I'm on the move. I want those three mediums on this thing, please. Actually, we can use the large two. Let's fire it all. Just want to make sure it goes away. Okay, Raider. 
Let's get this last turret if we can. Let's give him something to shoot at too. I want to try and get his eyes off the... Uh... Oh my god. You got the snipers though. I want to get his eyes off the uh, blackjack, but... Oh, we did it too. Good. Alright. Just move up. See if we can take this guy out. Ah, really? Still that hot, eh? Ah, I got some more snipers, it seems. Okay, firing on this guy. With everything this time. Nice. Is that enough? Yeah. Yeah. One last turret. Check it out. Waiting for orders. Okay, let's get these Order buildings started. Oh, wait, we picked up additional pirate forces coming in. Still though, let's start the buildings. Should be enough for that one. I don't want you targeting anything at the moment. Uh, turret can see you there. Can't see you here though. Let's get up here and cool off. Got some more fighting to do here before we go home. Okay, 55 tonner. Seventy tonner. Oh, cataphract, great. Twenty-five. Maybe we can finish this up and get out of here. Our evac point is back here on the hill, back to the left up here. So, how do we want to do this? You're definitely a building killer since that AC is not hitting anything else. Small reinforced building. Mm. So let's just do it this way. Okay, two buildings down. Just want to save some heat. We're going to be in the fight in here in a minute, so. He's going to be moving last. I'm listening. Could shoot on this turret. Finish it up. It's got 200. Let's start that turret off. Don't think, don't shoot, just run. That way when we engage these guys we don't have to worry about it so much. Um, yep, let's just fire... Let's just fire two. Got to save a little bit of heat. Oh crap. So 255, oh, 155 tonner. What's this guy? Doesn't say. Definitely need a medium though. Pretty good chances from back here. We're going to take them. I don't want to reveal myself to the enemy here. We're going to keep this hill between us and them for now. Dump everything into it. Okay, that, we don't have to worry about that guy now.
Okay, recross, do our job. Kintaro, known for overheating, cataphract, my god. Commando, 1A. Let's target this guy. I'm just going to fire everything. Nice. This guy's going to shoot first, I think, before he melees. Oh! Yep. Good shooting, Tex. Not so much with that one, though. Oh, is he going to block me in? I hope not. i got to be able to get out of here. Kick me in the shin makes it hard to run. Damage is light. Ready for order. On my way. Double tap. See you all later. Fifty tenner in the back. Yeah, I wonder if that's a um, Centurion or a Hunchback. One of the two, most likely. Yeah. Hauling ass. Okay, we're gonna lure these guys into a trap. At least attempt to, anyway. Guy's got a hundred. You want to move back or forward? I want to get out of here. Let's do this. And... That or this? No, I can't do that. Copy that oh, we missed with the AC. Are you serious? Oh my god. You, <laughs> you missed with so much. Yes, Commander. It's like not even worth. Oh, do we kill that commando? There was a green here somewhere. No, not worth getting out in the open for. Down to 125. This one's got 100. And if we go this route, we should have enough, I think. On target. There we go. All right, one more to go, and we're out of here. One less structure. So we're going to make sure the buildings are down as we back up towards the uh, extraction point. He's good with that ultra. I'll give him that. He's really a guy we got to shoot in the back, which means we got to lead him out of there. Oh, he's overheating. The pilot's confident, is he? Confident of what? Commander? Affirmative. Okay, don't have to worry about this guy now. We're going to dump this stuff on this building. Confirm. Well, at least we're hitting with something now. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Yes, command. Get recoil back here. Um, 40 left. We got a multi target. 
Yeah, let's go that route. Okay, the buildings are all gone. You don't got to come in hot, girl. Just come on in. We got the Jager mech pieces. That's all we really need out of this mission. The extra cash here would be nice. This extra sea bills, I'm, I stand corrected. If we get extra sea bills, great. If we don't, meh. Not really that worried about it. Just gonna fire these guys. Right here. Mm hmm. Let's get down around here. Yeah, this blackjack's got really nice movement now. Really heavy loadout. I'm really liking the uh, the way that it's running. It's actually changed my mind about blackjacks. I hate blackjacks normally, but. These heavy medium lasers are working wonders with this thing. Going down! Two wounds! Waiting for orders. Uh... Commander. Can we target both those guys? either one or the other, eh? I'm gonna stand on the corpse of your friend here and then target you. Just gonna use the Ultra 5. Fire. Okay, one down. Alright, what do we got? We don't know yet. Let's just get up here. Don't need to shoot. It's basically taking a turn up so we can see what this uh, Kentaro is going to do. Yep. You chicken. Ah, oh, we're not coming for you, buddy. We're not coming for you. You either come in and fight. They're waiting for the, they're waiting for the cataphract to get up here. We're gonna go. Got it. No point in risking anything fighting these guys. If the Kentaro sticks his nose out, we'll blow it right off, but uh, other than that, there's just no point. We got what we come for. Commander. Good to go. On the move, full speed. We get what we came for. Almost done. Just like pirates to not engage. Aye, aye. Okay, one turn left and I think we're out of here. I think our hunchback can make it all the way in there. Pretty sure. Let's get the whacker in first. Full speed, no target. Yep, definitely liking the loadout in this lance. Could be, like I said, could be a bit punchier. I think with the Phoenix Hawks, with the Phoenix Hawk gone, yes, uh, I think it will be punchier. All right. It's so limited what we can do with it. There we go. It's so rare that I actually do this and, and leave, but there was no reason to stay. All right, so I do know for a fact we do have 60 Jager mech parts. Uh, so we will, we will be taking the Jager mech. So that's 35% increase in salary. Phoenix Hawk, this was my fault completely, um, so I don't blame, I don't blame Recoil in any way. This mech is so limiting too, it's like, you really can't do much with it. Once that Wolverine's in though, we'll be good to go. So we've got three Jaeger mech parts of the pirate version, and we've got three of another version, so there's our first two pieces of salvage. And we're going to bypass the pirate, oh, MML7s. These are kind of nice. Although the pirate uh, Jager mech doesn't have any missile hard points. Um, it's got ballistic on the arms and then laser points in the, in the torsos. 260 fusion core we don't really need. 
Um, anything else down here? Any special ammo or anything? No. Okay, so maybe it will be the fusion cord then, or an MML7. Let's take the MML7. I'm sure we'll get use out of it. How much? What's the weight of this thing? Four and a half tons. Uh, it's a little heavy, but it's got better range than an SRM, so... Yeah, let's go that route. Alright, three Jager mech parts, good. Um, AC-10, couple Pirate Flamers, alright. Ah, Pirate Gauss Rifle. Case 2, excellent, excellent, we need that. Alright, cool. There it is, folks. Oh, Jager mech A, nice, at least it's not a pirate version. Uh, nice. 53,000 in repairs, that's a fair chunk, but mostly my fault. Alright, so let's have a look at our tasks here real quick. Uh, I want to move up my main lance now. Let's get them to the top. Uh, the Zeus needs to come up. And the Shadowhawk needs to come up. And what else do we have? That's it, really. These other guys, we want to get the Phoenix Hawk in earlier. Yep, that's good. Now let's have a look at the mech base. Have a look at that Jager mech, see what we get out of it. Our monetary flow is getting really good now, too. Um, got the fusion core. It's a good thing. So we put a repair on this guy. All right, well, we got the Gauss Rifle and the fusion core. Let's leave the fusion core in. Uh, I wish you could double click these off of here. All right, so let's take those out. So we got, uh, wait, this is the pirate version. Why did it say Jager Mech A? It's the P version. So we got two support hard points on the torsos. I mean, narcs or something like that. And then we've got four missile or four uh, ballistic on the arms, and then four lasers in the torsos. So this mech can be tricky to load out. But if you've got nice ACs for the arms, like the, uh, Ultra AC tens, this thing can be nice. Um, especially if they're Clan Ultra AC tens. So we got LBX tens. We got a Clan Ultra ten. Um, the, 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 we got two rotary AC2 pirates. Now, someone has said to me we should be using these. I think I will. I think I will dump both of these into this mech. One on each arm and see what we can do with this. Turn it into a fire support platform. Um, 12 tons is pretty heavy with variable damage. I mean, plus or minus 10 on these. So they could be doing 35 each. But on average, it'll be 25 each. So if they all hit, 150 damage per. So it's pretty good overall, but the six recoil and stuff, I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. We'll load this, we'll load this guy out and then just see what, what happens. But we could also load it out with two clan Gauss rifles. It's the same weight. Um, and we don't have to worry about massive ammo explosion. The problem with this, if we go with the rotary twos, um, you need at least, like you figure you're shooting six, six shots each. Even if you go with uh, two tons of ammo, it's still... Like, that's not even 10 turns of firing. But uh, although we haven't really come to a point where we've needed that more than that, so I don't know. I think really the Clan Ultra 10s are the best way to go because they're 10 tons. Damage is 60 times 4, right? Heat's ridiculous, but, I mean, that's something that we can mitigate, no problem. And then the ammo, we can just put in one torso with case. And you'd need at least 3 tons of ammo per, per uh, AC-10. Um... And it's nice big hits too, right? Which is guys. Nice. But we've got lots of stuff here, ballistic-wise, that we could try out. Um, when you got one light machine gun, light machine gun array, we could put one of these in each of the arms as well. Uh, 440 meter range is kind of nice as a secondary support. So you know whether it's yeah, you know it could be those those two pirate ultra twos or rack twos, and then uh, a couple of machine gun arrays in the arms, or even the pirate machine guns in the arms. We could just turn this guy into a pirate Jaeger mech. Maybe that's what we do. We just try that out. So let's get him repaired. 210,009 days. Let's confirm this. Alright. So, before we go today, let's have a look at this Warhammer. Or, sorry, Wolverine. Uh, I think what we're going to do right now is we're going to pull the Firestarter 2C out of the lineup. Uh, I don't think we have a need for it at the moment. Uh, our mission is going to be at least two skulls or higher now. So having this guy into play is really not giving us any advantage whatsoever. So we're going to drop him out for now. Save us a little bit of cash and give us a little bit of equipment to work with here. 
So let's have a look at the Wolverine. This is the one we want to use to replace the Shadow Hawk with. So actually, you know what? Maybe we do that too. So we'll, we'll get, let's get that Shadow Hawk repaired first. Manage our task. Where are you here? Or sorry, Phoenix Hawk. It's a seven day repair though. Um, so let's put him down here for now. He's actually getting repaired right now, so that's fine. Um, let's get the main lance back then. And before we refit the uh, Wolverine, we'll do that next episode. Um, so next episode when we come back, we'll have our main lance go off, go after against the, the, the two skull star adder um, contract. And then once that's done, we can refit this Wolverine. We'll pull the, the Phoenix Hawk out of service, put the Wolverine into service, uh, replacing the stuff, and hopefully uh, Recoil will have a better mech to use. And then maybe the Wolverine 1R, but at that point we can try refitting this guy. Depending on what we have, um, we may have to pull the Shadow Hawk um, out of melee service to fix up the Wolverine. Um, but maybe we do that as well. So yeah, we're going to leave the episode here. I think we did pretty well today. Um, if you like it, uh, you know, drop a like. If you feel free, if, like, if you want to comment, feel free to comment. And, um, you know, don't, for, don't forget to subscribe. Trying to get three episodes done every day. Two Cold Forged and one Funky Steve's Medinas. Doesn't always happen, but I try really hard to make sure we get three episodes up a day. And until next time, we'll see everybody later.